This morning I want to take a look at a new target system. It's a bell target system and it has three size apertures. Got a very small one, medium and a large gap behind these two plates. Now it's a very simple construction, it's just a wooden box with one of those reception bells um, placed on its side at the back and we have a metal plate which the pellet will strike and that's suspended here and as the pellet strikes it uh, will hit the little button on the top of the reception bell. The wood is 10 centimetres by 2 centimetres thick and it's kiln fire treated for outdoor use. So I've got the bell target just raised up out the mud on a log. I've got a log here just to hold it in case there's a bit of movement pushing it back. And today I want to see if it all works well and if it does I'm going to make some more for the courses this summer. I'm going to start with the widest hole and see how it goes. The metal used to make the target plate and the frames are all mild steel, 1.5mm thick from Metals For You. I'm using a Theoban Evolution air rifle, 0 0.177 calibre. It's a single shot gas ram brake barrel with a Hawk 3 to 9 times 50 mil dot scope. I bought the rifle second hand from the Air Gun Center in Essex over seven years ago and it's never let me down once. The bell target is a full 20 strides away. I hope it's not too far. Okay, here we go for the large aperture. That's how we do it. really happy with that. That's worked out really well. Good sound. There's no, you know, the steel stood up to the to the strikes of the pellet really well. As far as the test goes, the actual mechanics works really well when fired out with an air rifle. So very, very happy with that. I'm now going to try a medium size aperture. Okay, here we go for the medium size aperture. Perfect. Now this aperture 
you can just about get the tip of your little finger in. So what's that? That's about three times the size of the pellet. Let's give it a go. And now for the tiny aperture. Spot on. Ooh, miss. We hit it. It worked.